Illustrator gives you the ability to apply a variety of styles and effects to your vector graphics. You can find these effects in the Effects drop-down menu, and they're broken into two categories, Illustrator Effects and Photoshop Effects. The main thing to remember is that Illustrator Effects will allow you to keep your vector lines and you can edit them. If you apply a Photoshop effect, it'll rasterize your artwork and you won't be able to edit it vector-wise in Illustrator. Now I'm not going to show you all of these, but some of the more commonly used ones are the 3D effects, there's distort and transform, and there's also the stylize effects. I've got this object selected, so I'm going to apply a drop shadow to it. Whenever you choose an effect, a pop-up menu will appear for all your options. Each one's going to be a little bit different, but be sure to click on the preview button so you can see how the effect will uh, take place on your object. When you're ready to commit to it, you can hit OK. And just like I said, since it's an Illustrator effect, you can move the vector graphic around and the effect will update also to it. Here's the next thing to know about it. If you open up your Appearances palette, the Appearances will show you what stroke and fill you usually have and the opacity. If I select this, you can see this is a group that contains several contents and I can open up the contents but it also contains, there's my drop shadow. If I need to change this drop shadow, make any type of changes to the way it looks, I need to open the appearances and choose drop shadow again. And this will open up my drop shadow effect and I can continue to make changes to how it would look. So let's say I wanted to change the color of it to, let's make it red. Say okay, now I've got a red drop shadow, we'll hit okay. A common mistake is to choose the object again to go back to the effects menu and you can either choose apply drop shadow or open up the drop shadow. This uh, shows you the last one used. But to make changes by going up to the effect uh, drop down menu. Watch what happens when I do this. It's going to give me a warning that's saying, hey, this will apply another instance of the effect. In other words, it's going to apply another drop shadow to the drop shadow I already have. And if you don't see this, this will just open up. If I hit preview, you can see this is what it's looking like. It's actually applying two drop shadows to the appearance of this one particular object that I have. This is not what I want. If you want to get rid of any type of effect that you have, open your appearances, choose the drop shadow that you, that you have. For instance, I want to get rid of this red, or excuse me, black drop shadow, and click the trash can. And now that one's gone. So if I do want to make a change to the drop shadow I do have, open the appearances, click on drop shadow, and use this particular um, dialog box to work with that one.